Alright, Mr. Speaker, basically today the whole of the proposition has been painting out a picture, so called that a winter wonderland, or wonderland of sort. Basically, leave a child to walk before he could crawl. Basically, they want the women in the Middle Eastern countries to basically have the proper rights that they deserve. We agree with them on that part. But in order for a country to develop as a whole, it's, much, it's a much more better thing. When a country develops as a whole, it basically slowly progresses and uh, obviously will offer the women such rights as because these aids are basically given by uh, countries that are countries that are democratic and with these aids they are so called promoting their democracy into Middle Eastern countries so when Middle Eastern countries uh, basically gets the influence from these so called aids that are uh, the developmental aids so basically it will actually gradually uh, move on to helping the women rise at, uh, as well so basically the pressing issue on their part is this the humanitarian aid is uh, not doing uh, the humanitarian aid is doing much more uh, is uh, doing its job of basically uh, helping the basic needs of uh, the basic needs of the Middle Eastern people and basically we do not see that as uh, what my my extension speaker is for uh, the humanitarian aid has not provided to the extent that it is needed because that is why we need basic infrastructure such as education systems needs to be of uh, of some standard in order for women to basically go up and start uh, educating themselves. So if you want to teach a child to walk first while any uh, while giving well, women their rights, you don't have a proper education system, you don't have proper uh, infrastructure, and you don't have uh, anything that would help to bring up this woman, uh, would help to bring up this woman and so called uh, so called lead a country as what you have said that uh, Philippines has a. Uh, Female leader is bringing the country and moving, uh, moving more into development. Yes. Sir. How about protect, protecting this woman physically? Okay, protecting this woman physically. Well, we do not see. We see women's right as a secondary need. As okay, I'll, I'll follow on with that. A secondary need in the sir? terms that no, sir. Let me finish. A secondary need in the terms that because we understand that uh, women's are being hurt, but the problem is they know that. It's part of their culture where where they have to obey their their husbands and basically live in that house and take care of their children. And so that is why we see that when a country develops as a whole, the country mindset will Third change. Point. And when the, the country mindset changes, that is where implementation of uh, such rules like giving uh, giving women their uh, their, uh, their their rights in terms of education and all that stuff will come into play but it does take time as the examples that you brought up that uh, as the example of the opening proposition that brought up was that uh, basically in, uh, after 200 years in the 21st century or so uh, USA gave the woman uh, the rights to vote well basically we see yes because 200 years it took the USA to develop and that is where rights were given to the woman so we do not see that that is totally wrong we see that this should be also in matter into Middle Eastern countries so that the Middle Eastern countries can develop or such and basically uh, will be able to fight on uh, on the same grounds as any other nations as they say that it will basically uh, in India policy it will basically boost up the economy as both parents are working and both parents will uh, contribute to the economy but we do not see that it's totally right because even though the, both uh, both economy uh, both parents are able to work they do not contribute that much to the economy because we do not have proper infrastructure in the Middle East. Uh, we do not have uh, proper education in the first place to educate the women of South to work in, uh, in uh, proper education. And we do not have sufficient jobs in the first place. So without the developmental aid going into these such avenues to provide, uh, to develop these such uh, avenues, uh, these such avenues and such education, uh, uh, education and all that stuff. So we do not see how the lady can contribute. We do not contradict that the lady, uh, that women have uh, have a higher knowledge span and all that kind of stuff. Well, we see that this is a cultural issue, and this issue should be allowed to the people to change for themselves. And where change is change to be implemented, so, yes, we see over time. Where in their policy, it's also over time, and they are pushing it in uh, in such a way that it can change overnight because uh, local uh, NGOs and domestic NGOs will be there to check whether. Uh, whether the government is doing the proper job and funds will be deducted, well, we do not see that is the, that is the case because we know that the government themselves are following these Muslim religions and rules. Well, 
we as following this Muslim religion and rules. So this does not actually prove or pushes their case any further. Moving on. and then contribute to the society as a whole as well? That is why you did not get my point because I say that through time, through as the country, hey. as the country yeah. developed as a whole, as the country developed as a whole, people mindset do change. Like, in, uh, like take it for instance Singapore as an example. In, during the olden times, uh, Chinese women or uh, Chinese in, uh, Indian women are all told to stay at home and they were not told to work. They were told to live, look after their child and that is their job. Well, now you can see that after 44 years of independence and basically the rights have been given to this woman to work, to basically provide and uh, basically contribute to the economy. That is why we say it needs to take time. With your policy of saying that it needs to take time, you didn't give us a period of time, how much will it take? It will not be any shorter because it will be basically no harm into the woman because, the, because it's due to the woman that the age will be decreased if the, if the people, if the, if the guys in the if the guys in the middle is the country, want to follow their culture. So this is why their policy fails and the op should win. Thank you. Uh, thank you.